Why China Dominates Electric Vehicle Manufacturing Before we start, I would want you to hit that red subscribe button so that you never miss out on any of our videos. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to Success Tank. The global electric vehicle market is heating up, and China wants to dominate. Increasingly, more and more analysts expect China to be a leader in EV production, partly because it has the largest automobile market in the world. Then it has all these government policies to support consumers to buy EVs. Let's talk about why China dominates electric vehicle manufacturing. The Chinese government has invested at least $60 billion to support the EV industry, and it's pushing an ambitious plan to transition to all electric or hybrid cars by 2035. They have an all-of-society approach to winning and dominating the electric vehicle market globally. In 2020, EV sales in the U.S. were far below Europe and China. Out of the 3.24 million electric cars sold, only 328,000 were in the U.S., 133 million were sold in China, and 1.39 million were sold in Europe. As we go to 2025, China will pull away from everyone else, accounting for at least half of total global vehicle sales. Despite the pandemic, Deliveries of EVs grew year over year in 2020 by 43% globally, and the U.S. only saw a 4% increase. But there are signs that the U.S. is getting more serious about going electric. President Joe Biden has renewed the U.S. commitment to fighting climate change with a goal to reach net zero emissions by 2050. He's also announced investments in green infrastructure, including adding an additional 500,000 charging stations in a move that came as a surprise to many. General Motors, one of the largest automakers in the U.S., announced plans to offer electric vehicles by 2035 exclusively. They've got a long way to go to compete with China. The main reason why China dominates electric vehicles is because of competition with the U.S. The U.S. seems to be a kind of the young, reluctant cult saying, well, we'll get around to it. But what's the hurry? Well, there is a hurry. The race is on. China and Europe are way ahead, and continuous competition is going on between China and the U.S., which is why China is constantly dominating the production of electric vehicles. China decided over a decade ago that it wanted to be the world leader in electric cars. The industry in China is one that has been very interesting to everyone because it's an example of how government policy can potentially drive innovation in an industry. China is betting big on electric vehicles for several reasons. First, they've always been a follower in traditional vehicles, and they wanted to find a way to catch up technologically and not be dependent on Europe or the U.S. on engine technology. Also, they have a significant air pollution problem and they're also the world's largest importer of oil. China is the world's biggest emitter of greenhouse gases and has pledged to be carbon neutral by 2060. In an effort to support the adoption of EVs, the Chinese government has played a massive role. It has spent tens of billions of dollars to support the sales of electric vehicles. It's no secret that without regulation, without rules, without subsidies, electric vehicles would have never gotten off the ground. Whether it's in California, in China, or in Europe, it's been the government pushing the electric vehicle fixture. China has been the most aggressive in this regard. China has subsidies and incentives that benefit automakers, suppliers, and consumers. In certain cities, for example, in Beijing, one can only have access to the city center in a car if you're driving an electric vehicle. Elsewhere, in Shanghai, there's an incentive if you buy a gasoline-powered car, you must, first of all, pay $12,000 for the license plate just to have the rights to buy the car. China also has a quota system for manufacturers. They must produce a certain percentage of electric vehicles every year or they're fined. But some question if this is sustainable. In 2019, after the government cut back on some incentives, sales fell and the shares of EVs overall dropped from 8% in mid-2019 to 5% by the end of the year. China is winning the electric vehicle race because there are so many subsidies in place, but if we look closer, something happened in 2020 that shifted the picture. When Tesla arrived in the market, 
other EV startups like NEO and Zbang began to deliver highly desirable, good-looking, reliable, long-range vehicles, Chinese customers, for the first time, said we don't need subsidies to make the decision to buy this electric car. Tesla doesn't break out deliveries by region, but it delivered almost 500,000 cars last year during the pandemic. China has been very supportive of the EV infrastructure and EV companies for years, and everyone has seen it in their EV sales. China's government also provides support in battery manufacturing and the supply chain. It's the leading producer of electric batteries and motors. Battery production around the world is concentrated in Northeast Asia. It's Japan, Korea, and China. Together, they account for about 95% of total battery production for vehicles. Now, within that 95%, China has more than 60% at this point. So it's clearly the leader in terms of battery production capabilities. And analysts are basically across the board saying that China has control of the chemicals, the production facilities that are needed for electrical vehicle battery production for the next probably five to 10 years. China also made charging a national priority and has been installing an extensive network throughout the country. It has over half a million charging points. Even Tesla has a massive network in China with thousands of points and China has already unified their charging infrastructure. So whatever car we're buying, we know that we could go to a station and get charged up. China has been working in this department for a very long time and is succeeding day by day. This brings us to the end of our video. I hope you enjoyed it. Hit like if you did, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel so that you don't miss any of our videos in the future. Also, watch the two videos that are on your screen because I'm sure you'll love them. With that, I'll see you in the next video.